Get your sweet tooth ready because I've got 10 trivia questions for you on all things desserts. This is Trivia with Buds. Welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds, fresh off a lunch of a slice of pizza and a wild cherry Pepsi on draft from Sam's Club. Oh, man. It's rare where you find wild cherry Pepsi on tap. And whenever I see it, I'm very delighted because I do like it. Jersey Mike's used to have it from time to time. And uh, I have not seen it anywhere else, but just had uh, some pizza, grabbed some insane quantities of things and just had a nice little morning at sam's club with my wife who was like hey you want to go run errands with me and i was like yes i don't have a real job let's do it so we did that we had some fun and uh, now we're back recording podcasts today's episode is all about desserts we've got 10 questions for you on things that are sweet to eat after dinner and if there is a certain dessert you like that i don't ask a trivia question about today feel free to drop me a line with some trivia questions about that very dessert and i'll insert them in a future dessert themed episode that might be fun and uh, you can do that by going to ryanbuds at gmail.com and sending an email or you can go to triviathbuds.com and click the contact form when you're over there check out my brand new video on hosting virtual bingo maybe you've done virtual trivia with me with your work your friends your family your co-workers etc and you want to do something different but you still have to do it virtual because of this delta strand then come over to the website check it out watch this video it's under a minute it's 58 seconds and it tells you all the fun ways we can do customized bingo where everybody uh, plays right on their smartphone they mark off the cards everyone gets different cards and when you get five in a row you yell bingo and you get a prize it's tons of fun, and I can host it for up to 5,000 people using CrowdPur. So uh, watch that video, check it out, hit me up, and we'll make it happen. All right, we're going to jump into 10 questions on desserts right now. Here we go. All right, it's dessert trivia. Question number one, what pizza chain serves a dessert called Cinestix? Number one, what pizza chain serves a dessert called Cinestix? Number one. Question number two, what delicious dessert is made from layers of jelly, sponge, fruit, custard, and cream? Number two, what delicious dessert is made from layers of jelly, sponge, fruit, custard, and cream? Number two. Question number three, what is the main flavor in a traditional tiramisu? Number three, what is the main flavor in a traditional tiramisu? Number three. And number four, there's a Netflix show called Blanks Just Desserts. Fill in the blank. Whose just desserts are those? Number four, Netflix show called Blanks Just Desserts. Question number five, what Ben and Jerry's flavor is named after a member of the Grateful Dead? Number five, what Ben and Jerry's flavor is named after a member of the Grateful Dead? Question number six, what 80s sequel had the line, there's always room for Jell-O? Number six, what 80s sequel had the line, there's always room for Jell-O? Question number seven, what Netflix show is currently judged by Paul Hollywood and Prue Leith? Number seven, what Netflix show is currently judged by Paul Hollywood and Prue Leith? Question number eight, small deep fried balls of dough soaked in honey called strofoli come from what country? Number eight, small deep fried balls of dough soaked in honey called strofoli come from what country? Question number nine, what is the price of the milkshake that concerns Vincent Vega in Pulp Fiction? What is the price of the milkshake that concerns Vincent Vega in Pulp Fiction? And number 10, what chain used the slogan, we don't make it until you order it? What chain used the slogan, we don't make it until you order it? 
Those are your 10 questions on desserts and all things real yummy. We'll be right back in just a second to see if you got all the dessert questions correct. We are back with dessert-based trivia. 10 questions. Did you get all 10? Let's find out. Number one, what pizza chain serves a dessert called Cinestix? That would be at Domino's. Watch out for the Noid and Domino's. Number two, which delicious dessert is made from layers of jelly, sponge, fruit, custard, and cream? That's the trifle. A trifle, which I believe Rachel tries to make on Friends, and she uses beef. It's gross. Number three, what is the main flavor in a traditional tiramisu? Coffee. Coffee-flavored cream and uh, cake, I think, in there. Number three, tiramisu. Number four, there's Netflix, and there's a Netflix show called Blanks Just Desserts. Who is it? Zumbo. Like the word jumbo with a Z. Zumbo's Just Desserts. Number five. What Ben and Jerry's flavor is named after a member of the Grateful Dead, Cherry Garcia, named after Jerry Garcia. Number six, what 80s sequel had the line, there's always room for Jell-O, Ghostbusters 2. Ghostbusters 2 had that line. Number seven, what Netflix show is currently judged by Paul Hollywood and Prue Leith, The Great British Baking Show or The Great British Bake Off. One of my favorite shows. I think it's coming back. I'm going to Google it right after this, probably for the fall. I think those come out every October. Number eight, small deep fried balls of dough soaked in honey called strafoli come from what country? Italy. Strafoli, Italy. Number eight. Number nine, what is the price of the milkshake that concerns Vincent Vega in Pulp Fiction? $5, a $5 milkshake. And number 10, what chain used the slogan, we don't make it until you order it? That would be Dunkin' Donuts, or just now known as Dunkin'. America runs on it, according to their slogan. Although I don't like it all that much. Dunkin' Donuts, number 10. Those are all your questions and answers. Hope you had fun scratching that sweet tooth while you played along today. We have a fact of the day for you. The tallest married couple ever recorded was Anna Heinig Swan, who was 7'11", and Martin Van Buren Bates, who was 7'9". Wow. And the wife was bigger than the husband. That's wild. 7'11", 7'9". That's 14, 15 feet? About 15 feet. No, more than that. 14, no, exactly, 15, no. Why can't I do math? (laughs) It's 14 and 20 inches. So that's 15 and eight, 15 foot, eight inches in the air if they climbed on top of each other. That's pretty dang high. That's a good second story couple right there. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend and we'll see you next time for more trivia with me. Cheers.